Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to give you guys a heads up on a free game that you can pick up right now over at GOG as they are continuing to run their big summer sale so definitely you'll want to check that out on top of that want to give you guys a heads up on a free game you can get with an amazon prime subscription so you'll definitely want to jump on that and a heads up on the epic game store freebies that are running out here soon and we have some good pc game deals to round the video out so we'll get to that in a little bit but first of all hell division is available free over on GOG, GOG has been giving out a plethora of free titles as a part of their summer sale running, and this is their latest one. Remember, you add the game to your library, and it is yours to own forever. Hell Division is a game from the third person, which is a battle of combat drones. The game has gotten a very positive reception on Steam. Only 65 reviews, but 89% of those reviews are positive. Hell Division is a game which is a battle of combat drones. The game is a dynamic action game where the main character is a military drone equipped with small arms you have to plunge into the atmosphere of cyberpunk and confrontation between two powerful corporations. It all started with the fact that one of the powerful corporations for the production of drones took over almost all cyberspace. Their goal is to dictate their own terms and set their own rules. However, not all so simple. There is another corporation that has released its own drone, which is superior in all respects to competitor drones. True, there is one thing, but there are much fewer such drones than the enemy. You have to control just such a drone, holding back several dozen drones of a potential enemy. The task is not easy, so you'll need to act with the use of tactics. The Game Note 6 game location locations in a cyberpunk style, a story based on the confrontation between two corporations, dynamic battles in the air, sophisticated enemy AI, several types of missions, enemies of different difficulty, and an amazing soundtrack rounding things out. The game is typically pretty cheap. It's literally... 99 cents right now, 90% off on Steam, but hey, instead of paying a buck, you can get it absolutely free on GOG, and you'll be on your merry way after that, so go ahead and give that a look. Next up, we have the free game over on Prime Gaming. Now, this is obviously only free if you are a Amazon Prime subscriber. I know many of you are, uh, whether you have it for the free Amazon uh, delivery, whether you have it for Amazon Prime Video. Although Prime Video, like, I, I don't find it that crazy. Like, The Boys is pretty good. And, um, you know, I haven't even finished it, to be perfectly honest, or caught up with it, rather. And Vinland Saga is on there, which is pretty good. But nonetheless, um, there's a lot of benefits you get with Prime, and most people are not signing up for it just with the free weekly game, which yes, they offer weekly games now and they rotate one in every week. Prey on GOG is the free title this week, which is a huge freebie. Prey came out back in 2017 by Arcane Studios, actually the same division of Arcane that put out the critically acclaimed Redfall earlier this year. Obviously a little bit of a jug by me, but Prey is a fantastic game. I just gave it a recommendation, I think, yesterday because it is uh, deeply discounted for the Steam version of the game on Green Man Gaming, but, um, you know, you can get it free if you are a Prime subscriber, and again, Prey came out back in 2017, an incredibly atmospheric sci-fi first-person title. The game has a good bit of content to it, and it turned out to be really good. Unfortunately, from a commercial standpoint, it didn't do, like, crazy numbers and I guess whoever are the heads at Bethesda thought, hey, let's make ourselves a multiplayer title that we can monetize for a long time. And that's how Redfall came to fruition. And um, yeah, I think hindsight is always twenty twenty. But I think if we could go back, uh, even if Prey 2 wouldn't have lit the world on fire from a sales standpoint, at the very least, it probably would have been a really well-received game. And it probably would have done a lot better than what Redfall ultimately did. Maybe sometimes you should just let a studio stay within their wheelhouse instead of trying to, you know, monetize the game for all it's worth. I don't know. I get it. People always got to be chasing the bag, and um, it is a business at the end of the day, so I can't fault them too much, but nonetheless, Prey 2017 still holds up as a fantastic game, and I strongly, strongly recommend it, so definitely go give it a look, and uh, given that it's free with your Amazon Prime subscription, I would say it would be a worthwhile pickup. So, that's free on Prime Gaming. If you have an Amazon Prime subscription, again, that'll be free for you. Hell Division, available free over at GOG. I do want to note, two new Epic Game Store titles will be cycling in tomorrow, but if you haven't mentioned them highly last week, but Guacamelee, Guacamelee 2, two games I definitely think you guys should have in your game library. They are very, very good Metroidvanias. Um, very cartoony, very comical uh, titles, but uh, very, very well-designed games as well, and I don't think uh, they 
they get as much love as they deserve. So definitely a worthwhile game to check out there. Uh, have a look at them. Again, when you add them to your library on the Epic Game Store, they are yours to own forever. So jump on that as soon as possible. I think those are games that you can end up enjoying. I'll mention it tomorrow, but tomorrow we do have Idle Champions of the Forgotten Realms and the Hunter Call of the Wild. So be on the lookout for that. Lastly, a couple deals to note over at Green Man Gaming. Returnal, which dropped on PC earlier this year, is 32% off for $40.79. Look, that is a um, expensive price for Returnal. Don't get it twisted. Uh, but the game just came out on PC, and you guys know how Sony does. Like, look at the price of Spider-Man. Look at how much God of War still is a year and a half after the release of that game. Returnal is a game that I don't think is for everyone, but this comes with a litany of updates that the PlayStation version obviously now has, but at launch... Um there were some issues with the game. It's an incredibly challenging game, but it's a visual delight. Great particle effects. The studio and Housemark kind of has a knack for having games with great particle effects, and Returnal's got a great style to it. Um, again, it's not going to be for everyone. It's a challenging game, and, you know, back at launch, I was hearing a lot of people, like, damn near breaking their controllers when this game came out on PS5, but 40 and change, it's expensive, but, you know, if you've been eyeing this game for a while, this is a sizable discount, given it just came out four months ago, and the Sony titles tend to hold up in price. Obviously, gotta give a mention to one of my favorite games of the year, Hi-Fi Rush, 32% off for $20.39. You don't even have to be an XP member for this deal. Uh, neither do you have to be an XP member for the Returnal deal, but Hi-Fi Rush for $20.39, uh, definitely a worthwhile pickup. This is a game that I absolutely adored. I thought it was a tremendous, tremendous action music rhythm game, which is a marriage of genres that I really didn't think would work, but Hi-Fi Rush knocks it out of the park and does an incredible job with it. Um, it's not a super lengthy game. You can complete it and probably, you know, 8 to 10 hours, but there's actually a lot of post-game content. There's a free update that will be launching for the game here shortly as well, so this is a game that's just going to get better and better. I mean, we're probably going to get one major update that's coming out. I don't know if they're going to continue to update it. Hopefully, they do do a Hi-Fi Rush too, because I think there's a lot of potential with... um. Hi-Fi Rush is an IP, and this is totally a far cry from what Tango Gameworks did in the past with Evil Within and Ghostwire Tokyo, but tremendous game, and $20 in change for a Steam copy is great. Obviously available through Xbox Game Pass. Speaking of available through Xbox Game Pass, City Skylines 2 will be available through Xbox Game Pass, but if you do want to own the game, the Standard Edition is on sale over at GMG for 12% off for $44, and then Ultimate Edition 12% off for $79.19. I imagine that this is a game that people are going to want to own just because uh, it's a game that's going to see a lot of consistent updates. There's going to be a lot of DLC content. So if you're eyeing it, you know, maybe, uh, I, I wouldn't say pick it up now, given that it comes out in October, but add it to your bookmarks. And then once we get closer to release, check it out then. But that'll do it for me again. Hell Division free on GOG. Prime Gaming has got Prey available free over there. Epic Game Store, last chance to get Guacamelee and Guacamelee 2 and a lot of great game deals. Links to everything as always in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.